Um, in the end, we narrowed it down to two genres we wanted to do. We it was either between a gangster film or like a cop film. Um, we wanted to do something we'd seen and absolutely loved the Tarantino films and wanted to do something very much like that. So in the end, we went um, we went for. Uh, a gangster film, an American style gangster film. We wanted to mix the kind of older style and Tarantino style together to create something new. So we went for gangster. Um, there are like, there's, you know, there's a lot of recurring themes and and um, code and conventions in gangster. For instance, people, um, American Italians, often New York, um, often have alliterating nicknames. Uh, which um, they were often smartly dressed, black suits, polished shoes, etc., as seen in pretty much all gangster films. Uh, often have greased back, black hair. Um, there's, you know, the stereotypical fat gangster in charge, and he often has like a smaller, greasy rat like um, henchman, uh, normally a little bit mental, can't be trusted. Um, also, the places. Are very important in the codes and conventions of gangster films. Often an Italian style diner or club, uh, which is normally a hangout um, or a gathering place for the gangsters, um, on rare occasions, even like a pizza place. Um, other hangouts are strip clubs in the more like 90s films, or like Scarface, or a dark office or a warehouse scene in um, Reservoir Dogs. Also, there's often names that all appear in our, like several gangster films, for instance Tony and Michael um, during The Godfather and Goodfellas, um, Giovanni is another one that pops up, 